Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. This one I'm going to show you how to use the roto brush within After Effects to mask out objects. I find it's actually a lot easier to use the roto brush rather than using the pencil and trace out every single object one by one for each frame. So this method is still time consuming but in my opinion it actually is a bit faster than using the pencil. So. First of all, we need to do is import your clip and create a new composition like so. I'm just going to be using Prerex by Nexus. I recommend setting your um, preview to full. This will create the uh, this will make the rotoscoping a lot easier, so the edges a lot more um, refined. So once that is done, you can press Alt W, and that will bring up the roto brush tool like so. Or you can just press the roto uh, brush tool up in the top corner like so. And what you need to do is double click on the clip. You now have a green circle as your mouse and this is your roto brush so the basic control is obviously scroll is to zoom in and out and to change the size of the of the brush you can press control on your keyboard move your mouse up and it'll make it bigger like so you can press control again drag your mouse down and it'll make it smaller now to start masking all you have to do is just paint it in like so so you just paint in the areas that you want to keep so i want this Nova and the player model so I'm just going to color it in like that and then you see it's now tracing like so I slightly messed up which is good so I can show you how to fix it up so as you can see there are sections that I don't actually want to get rid of those all I have to do is press alt and as you can see the roto brush is now red all I have to do is color the sections in that I don't want in like that and it'll get rid of it as you can see it's not 100% accurate, you may have to fix it up, like so. And you may have to go a bit more in. It's not exactly 100% accurate, it will take a bit of time um, and effort into making doing this. So I don't want this section either, so I'm just gonna color that in like that. And there you go, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the basics of rotoscoping. So yeah, as you can see, it's now fully masked out. So if you go back to the composition, you can see the Nova and the uh, view model is like that. I've messed up a bit there, um, that's fine. Let's just pretend that's not there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, obviously this is only one uh, section that has been masked out. You can use the page up and page down keys on your keyboard to move uh, frames forward, page down moves it forward, and page up moves it back. So I'm just going to keep moving forward until it stops the mask. And there you go, the mask stops there, so therefore I'm going to have to start rotoscoping again. Uh, again, this is going to be um, time consuming, but I find it's a lot easier than using the pen tool. So there you go, have a bit of a mask out. So yeah, that's pretty much it with uh, rotoscoping. It's pretty simple. Um, it it is time consuming and will take a bit of time to do um, but in the end it's probably going to be worth it so you can go ahead and actually I'm going to duplicate this delete it for this one and I'm going to make the main focus like so so I'm going to like change the opacity add a bit of lens blur maybe like so but you can see the main focus is the uh, Nova so you can pretty much do whatever you want with the uh, rotoscope now that it's masked out like that. You can go ahead and trace it and you know add a saber or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I um, hope everyone found it helpful. Please like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you all in the next one.